Hello everybody, and what exactly is a stop? Now, if you're new to photography, you've probably been confused by the saying of stops. When someone says, pull it down by three stops, increase the brightness by two stops, you're wondering how much exactly is a stop? Now a stop is simply a unit of measurement for light and it's used in exposure all the time because exposure is all about how much light the sensor receives. It's also a lot simpler than it sounds. To go a stop brighter means to double the amount of light and to go a stop darker means to half the amount of light. Now the concept of stops may be a bit confusing for beginners because when we say two stops brighter, it's not two times brighter, it's doubling the amount of light and then doubling it again. So it's four times the amount of light. So for example, if I'm receiving one foot candle of light, a foot candle is a unit of measurement for luminance, and I brighten that up by two stops, I would be receiving four foot candles of light. And if I were to push that up by another stop, it would be eight foot candles of light. For exposure time and ISO, it's easier to understand the concept of stops. You simply double or half the duration of the exposure or the corresponding ISO value to go either a stop brighter or a stop darker. For aperture values, however, you do need to familiarize yourself with the numbers. For example, an f2.8 is exactly one stop brighter than an f4 because an f2.8 lets in exactly double the amount of light as an f4 and a f5.6 would be exactly one stop darker than an f4 because f5.6 lets in exactly half the amount of light an f4 will let in. Now by default on modern cameras, a click of the dial, either the one that controls shutter speed or aperture, means a third of a stop. So every click you dial in changes the exposure by a third of a stop. So when you click it three times, you're bringing it either up or down by a full stop. That's if you didn't change the setting on the camera to make them half stop increments. And also with the exception of ISO. The ISO increments are a bit different depending on the camera. On Canon DSLRs, for example, the entry level DSLRs have the ISOs in one stop increments. When you go into the double D series, the 60D, the 70D, 80D and above, they come in one third stop increments. But then again, ISOs are simple. You simply double or half the value to go up or down by a stop. So that pretty much sums up my explanation on stops. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them in the comment section below. If there's something else you'd like to hear me explain, leave them in the comments as well. So that's pretty much it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.